Sexually transmitted diseases, also known as sexually transmitted infections, are infections that spread through sexual contact. They are a significant public health concern, affecting millions of people worldwide. STDs can have serious health consequences if left untreated. They are caused by various organisms, including bacteria, viruses, and parasites. They can be transmitted through vaginal, anal, and oral sex. Some STDs can also spread through skin-to-skin -skin contact. Many people with STDs experience no symptoms, making it crucial to get tested regularly, especially if you are sexually active. Untreated STDs can lead to long-term health complications, such as infertility, pelvic inflammatory disease, and an increased risk of certain cancers. Early detection and treatment are vital to prevent serious health problems and the further spread of STDs. Regular testing, open communication with partners, and practicing safe sex are essential steps in protecting sexual health. Chlamydia is a common bacterial STD caused by the bacterium Chlamydia trachomatis. It is easily spread through unprotected sex. Many people with chlamydia have no symptoms, but some may experience unusual discharge, pain during urination, or pain during sex. Chlamydia is treatable with antibiotics. If left untreated, it can lead to serious health problems, such as pelvic inflammatory disease in women, which can cause infertility. In men, untreated chlamydia can cause epididymitis, a painful inflammation of the testicles. Regular testing is crucial for early detection and treatment. Using condoms consistently and correctly during sex can significantly reduce the risk of contracting chlamydia. Open communication with partners about sexual history and testing is essential for responsible sexual health. Prompt treatment with antibiotics is highly effective in curing chlamydia. It is crucial to complete the full course of antibiotics as prescribed by a healthcare provider to ensure the infection is cleared. Gonorrhea is another common bacterial STD. It is caused by the bacterium Neisseria gonorrhea. Like chlamydia, it is easily spread through unprotected sex. Many people with gonorrhea experience no symptoms. When present, symptoms may include unusual discharge, pain during urination, or pain during sex. Gonorrhea is treatable with antibiotics. However, antibiotic-resistant strains of gonorrhea are emerging. Untreated gonorrhea can lead to serious health problems, such as PID in women and epididymitis in men. Regular testing is essential for early detection and treatment. Consistent and correct condom use during sex can significantly reduce the risk of contracting gonorrhea. Open communication with partners about sexual history and testing is crucial for responsible sexual health. Prompt treatment with antibiotics is essential to cure gonorrhea and prevent complications. Following a healthcare provider's instructions regarding medication and follow-up care is crucial for successful treatment. Syphilis is a bacterial infection caused by the bacterium Treponema pallidum. It is spread through direct contact with a syphilis sore during sex. Syphilis progresses through several stages, each with distinct symptoms. The first stage involves a painless sore at the site of infection. The second stage may include a rash, fever, and swollen lymph nodes. The latent stage has no symptoms but can last for years. The tertiary stage can damage internal organs including the brain, nerves, eyes, heart, and blood vessels. Syphilis is treatable with antibiotics, especially in the early stages. If left untreated, it can lead to severe health problems, including blindness, paralysis, and even death. Regular testing is crucial, especially for sexually active individuals. Condoms can reduce the risk of syphilis transmission, but they are not foolproof as sores can occur outside the area covered by a condom. Open communication with partners, regular testing, and prompt treatment are essential for controlling syphilis. Section 5, HIV. Human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, attacks the body's immune system, making it harder to fight off infections. It is spread through contact with infected bodily fluids, such as blood, semen, vaginal fluids, and breast milk. Sexual contact is a common mode of transmission. Early HIV infection may cause flu-like symptoms, but many people experience no symptoms for years. As HIV progresses, it weakens the immune system, making individuals susceptible to opportunistic infections and certain cancers. While there is no cure for HIV, antiretroviral therapy, or ART, can control the virus and prevent progression to AIDS, which is Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. RT is highly effective in suppressing HIV replication, allowing individuals to live long and healthy lives. Preventing HIV transmission involves practicing safe sex, 
using condoms consistently, getting tested regularly, and considering pre-exposure prophylaxis or PrEP for those at high risk. Open communication with partners about HIV status and prevention strategies is crucial. Section 6 Herpes Herpes is a viral infection caused by the herpes simplex virus, or HSV. There are two types, HSV1, which usually causes oral herpes, commonly known as cold sores, and HSV2, which usually causes genital herpes. Both types can affect the mouth or genitals. Herpes is spread through contact with infected sores or saliva. Many people with herpes have no symptoms or only mild symptoms. When symptoms are present, they may include painful blisters or sores in the affected area. Herpes outbreaks can recur periodically. There is no cure for herpes, but antiviral medications can manage symptoms, reduce the frequency and severity of outbreaks, and lower the risk of transmission. Condoms can reduce the risk of herpes transmission, but they are not foolproof, as sores can occur outside the area covered by a condom. Open communication with partners about herpes status is essential. Avoiding sexual contact during outbreaks can reduce the risk of transmission. Antiviral medications can suppress the virus and lower the risk of transmission even when there are no visible sores. Section 7, HPV. Human papillomavirus, or HPV, is a common group of viruses. There are many types of HPV, some of which can cause genital warts, while others can increase the risk of certain cancers, including cervical, anal, and throat cancer. HPV is spread through skin-to-skin -skin contact, including sexual contact. Many people with HPV have no symptoms, but some may develop genital warts. HPV infection often clears up on its own, but persistent infection with high-risk HPV types can lead to cancer. Vaccination against HPV is available and highly effective in preventing infection with high-risk HPV types. The HPV vaccine is recommended for adolescents and young adults, both males and females. Regular cervical cancer screenings, such as pap tests, are crucial for early detection of any abnormalities caused by HPV. Condoms can reduce the risk of HPV transmission, but they are not foolproof, as HPV can infect areas not covered by a condom. Section 8. Hepatitis B. Hepatitis B is a viral infection that affects the liver. It is caused by the hepatitis B virus, or HPV. HPV is spread through contact with infected bodily fluids, such as blood, semen, and vaginal fluids. Sexual contact is a common mode of transmission. Many people with acute hepatitis B experience no symptoms or mild flu-like symptoms. However, some develop chronic hepatitis B, which can lead to liver damage, cirrhosis, and liver cancer over time. Vaccination against hepatitis B is available and highly effective in preventing infection. The hepatitis B vaccine is recommended for all infants and for adults who have not been vaccinated. Practicing safe sex, using condoms consistently, and avoiding contact with infected blood and bodily fluids are crucial for preventing hepatitis B transmission. HPV can survive outside the body for an extended period, so proper hygiene and disinfection practices are important. Section 9. Trichomoniasis Trichomoniasis is a common STD caused by a parasite called Trichomonas vaginalis. It is spread through sexual contact. Most people with trichomoniasis do not have symptoms, but some may experience unusual discharge, itching, or irritation in the genital area. Trichomoniasis is treatable with antibiotics. If left untreated, it can increase the risk of other STDs, including HIV. In pregnant women, trichomoniasis can cause complications, such as premature birth. Regular testing is essential for early detection and treatment. Consistent and correct condom use during sex can significantly reduce the risk of contracting trichomoniasis. Open communication with partners about sexual history and testing is crucial for responsible sexual health. Prompt treatment with antibiotics is highly effective in curing trichomoniasis. It is essential to complete the full course of antibiotics as prescribed by a healthcare provider to ensure the infection is cleared and prevent recurrence. Section 10, Prevention and Awareness. Preventing STDs requires a multifaceted approach, combining individual responsibility, societal awareness, and public health initiatives. Open communication about sexual health, regular testing, and practicing safe sex are crucial steps in protecting yourself and others. Condoms are highly effective in preventing many STDs when used consistently and correctly. However, 
They do not provide complete protection as some STDs can spread through skin-to-skin -skin contact outside the area covered by a condom. Regular testing for STDs is essential, even without symptoms. Many STDs can be asymptomatic, and early detection and treatment are crucial to prevent long-term health complications and further spread. Vaccinations are available for certain STDs, such as HPV and Hepatitis B. These vaccines are highly effective in preventing infection and are recommended for adolescents and young adults, as well as for adults who have not been vaccinated. Raising awareness about STDs, promoting sexual health education, and reducing stigma surrounding STDs are crucial for encouraging open conversations, responsible behavior, and timely healthcare seeking.